Welcome to episode 3 of Gun Guides, where I'll show you how to get, use, and master every gun family in Spiral Knights. Today, I'll be taking a closer look at the blaster family of guns. Every blaster family starts from the same 2-star blaster. There's a 5-star for piercing, elemental, shadow, and normal damage. The Rift Locker does piercing damage, the Arcana Elemental, the Fontamos Shadow, and the Valiance Normal. None of these guns provide status afflictions. Every recipe for the Blasters but the Valiance line is found in the Clockworks and bought from Basil, so you might have to farm a bit to get your hands on them. Blasters can shoot three times before reloading. These shots travel for around 7 to 8 tiles. Blaster attacks have slight knockback. The knockback is unique, as no other gun provides knockback at any range with their basic attacks. Spacing is made easy with blasters because of the knockback and is good at keeping you safe. This knockback doesn't affect every enemy however. Cats and Gorgos will never take knockback from the basic attacks. Large shielded enemies like Trojans and Deadnoughts will only receive knockback if you shoot their shields. Any Lycan of the orange color and up won't take knockback either, nor will Lumbers. The charge attack fires a fast, larger projectile that travels for 9 blocks. The charge has better knockback than the auto attacks, and can affect almost all enemies. Because of its low damage, the blaster charge is situational at best. The blasters have an option for each damage type, so let's take a closer look at what sets each one apart. The Rift Locker is a great overall gun. Mobile piercing guns are limited to either the Gilded Griffin or the Rift Locker. Because the Antigua line is regarded as weak, the Rift Locker is the only gun that offers good mobile piercing damage. In Fiend and Beast theme levels like Rabid Snarvalax or Heart of Ice, the Rift Locker is super useful. The only blaster I use is the Rift Locker, because what it offers is unique. Devilites in particular are nasty for gunners to deal with, and Rift Locker makes them a lot less threatening. Out of all the blasters, this one is a must-have for gunners. The Fantamos has more competition than the Rift Locker, being compared to the Umber Driver, Permafroster, and Sentenza. The Fantamos, being a blaster, has its knockback and range, but it falls short of the Umber Driver in terms of damage. The Fantamos is good for keeping gremlins and jellies at a safe distance due to their short ranges. Something like a large Lycan colony is a pain for Fantamos to deal with. No knockback combined with no burst damage make these enemies pretty tough to take care of. Overall, the Fantamos is a good shadow gun that's usable in most levels where shadow damage is effective. The Arcana is a decent elemental option, but suffers from the same issues the Fantamos does. Its competition outshines it in damage, and its charge attack isn't pulling any of the weight. Being in the same damage type as Alchemers, the Arcana loses some of its appeal because of how many status options Alchemers provide. Even aside from the status effects, the Nova Driver has more damage and a much more usable charge attack than the Arcana. The Valiance was pretty much gutted during the Gunner update to let the other blasters shine. The Valiance has almost nothing special about it due to its low overall damage. I'd say it's the weakest blaster, as well as one of the weakest guns overall. The blasters are very straightforward guns, so there isn't much in the way of advanced techniques. As with most other guns, the blaster shots have an area of effect at the bullet's impact. This AoE range is pretty good which lets you optimize damage and get knockback on more enemies. Even with one shot, these two slags can be pushed back if the aim is just right. Enemy manipulation plays a large part in Spiral Knights, so getting the most value from blaster knockback that you can is crucial. Flashing a blaster auto will fire an extra shot with super fast speed, normal range, and no knockback. It's very underwhelming for a flash attack. The flash charge fires an extra charge attack with very fast speed, the same range, and no knockback. The blaster's flash charge will cancel the normal charge's knockback, which can lead to some decent burst damage because the enemies will stay in range for some follow-up basic attacks. 
The low damage make the blaster flashes all underwhelming. Flashes should probably be saved for another weapon. Blasters offer players of every level a good option for every damage type. Even though their skill ceiling isn't super high, they can still see use in the hardest of levels. The only true weak links in this weapon are the flash attacks and the charge attack, which isn't saying much. Even then, the knockback gives gunners dependable range and safety, and is reliable because of the large bullet size. Despite blasters not dealing the most damage, their simple effectiveness makes them a great option. That's all I have for blasters. Do you think I missed a blaster mechanic? Or would you like to see your favorite gun covered next? Make sure to let me know.